Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. If you are enjoying my Lucifer content, please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell that next to it because that lets you know when I've uploaded a new video. Also, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know your you guys' thoughts. Also, check out the community tab because that lets you know when I will be uploading new videos onto YouTube. So, the last episode, I think was called Favorite Son. Yeah, I think it was called Favorite Son. Yeah. And I really love that episode. That I, I loved it. I loved it. I love what it, it took. So, in that episode, we saw a, a item was stolen from Lucifer. Um, and that item happened to be his wings. I love the, you guys' comments in the comment section, especially for that episode because a lot of you guys said I caught on to the wings part very quickly. And I'll tell you why. And it's something that has been bugging me from since, um, I think it was called Manly Whatnot. Is that episode where he told, I think that's the episode he did tell, um, Chloe that Maze cut off his wings. Now, the reason why that, um, sentence kind of bothered me is because Lucifer is such an oversharer, right? So I felt like he would have told more of the situation. But it um he only said she it cut off. So to me, I was thinking, okay, you cut off your wings. What did you do with them? Like if that makes sense. He didn't he didn't say, oh Maze, um cut it off and burn them. No, he just said it's cut off. So to me, in my back of my head, I was like, so where are the wings? If you cut them off, there should be somewhere. Did you if you get what I mean? Like, he, you should have done something with them. And because Lucifer is such an oversharer. Like, if this was any... Like, like if this situation was a mill deal saying he cut off his wings, I wouldn't have even blinked. But because it's Lucifer, I was like, some. it's definitely something... The wings are going to play a part. And the way he reacted to Chloe trying to touch the scars told me he still had some type of connection to his wings. So... When he said that it's the only thing he brought with him to the human world, I was like, well, the only thing you can bring with yourself is yourself. So what, what part of you is missing? And it's wings. Um, you guys told me more information of the Samael um, part because I, I did a little um, history lesson. And that's me just to just doing theology in college so i knew about those names but someone told me it's also called venom of god i did not know that so that was cool to know but we also saw that in the last episode because lucifer did not get what he was looking for i said that he's gonna have to tell chloe the truth not like she's gonna believe him but you're gonna have to bring back because uh, you told chloe that it was Russian dolls. We saw the Russian dolls, but it's still missing. So you, we know for a fact. I well, I know for a fact. He has, he has to go back to Chloe. He has, to, he has to go back to her, and tell her the truth. So I just want to know. I feel I want to know if this will be the conclusion to the missing wings, or is this gonna be how season one ends, the wings being the issue. So I want to see where they are going to take this. So the next episode is called Wingman. Okay, so a play on words, um, um, a body situation as well. So I'm very excited to get into this episode. So with that being said, let's just jump into the episode. Well, damn, how she get in the pool that fast? What are you waiting for? Hop in. Um, I, I won't trust me to do that. Oh, shit. I, I told you not to trust me to do that. Are you kidding me? 
Hello, Sergey. Water's a bit. Hello, Lucifer. Isn't it obvious? I'm going to brutally torture you until you give me what I want. Oh, damn. My wings. Where are they? My wings. I don't even know what you're talking about. My wings. Please. Lucifer Morningstar. And you, you small peckered fool, are Sergey Bok, a known smuggler. Oh, okay. You just about anything you can get your trash a Euro hands on. Please, <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna tell you why I laughed at that joke at the end. I'm beginning to wonder if this human stain is actually telling the truth. Hey, it's not him, it's us. Us? It's the fifth man we've accosted this week. Oh, damn! You've been very busy, Lucifer. about this wrong? Um, he's dead. I don't know that you want to be here right now. There she is. Uh oh. Hate me, sign on my face? It's about Malcolm. The palm medicine? He's been in a coma for months. His wife decided to pull the plug. Ooh. Malcolm's dying today. And you're still investigating him for corruption. It would make everyone's life easier if you would close your investigation. You know, Dan, I thought we were actually making progress there for a second. But once again, look who's on team everyone else. If you want to do something about it, then do it now. You have 24 hours. But let it go and let his family move on. <laughs> he walked in just like that. Is this really what you do in your spare time? What are you doing here? I'm here because I could really use your expertise. It's really not a good day for your Luciferness. Luciferness. I'm gonna call that from now on. Luciferness. Hold on. Uh oh. Now, I'm not one to get into the feels, usually, but you seem genuinely distressed. I'm simply offering an ear. Remember the Palmetto case I was telling you about? The case that's been consuming you, causing people to despise you, call you names, I never <laughs> on occasion because of it. No, it doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> well, they're pressuring me to drop the case, assume the party No, Dan is pressuring you. My spidey sense tells me dropping it's not what you want, is it? I want the truth. Well, then seek it out. You're a police officer. You don't need anyone's permission. Anyway, now we've helped you. My turn. Uh-oh. See, I'm working a sort of case of my own, and it seems that I've, well, hit a bit of a snag. What do you do when your case hits a wall? Hello. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Kind of is. Who are we asking help from? Oh, a middle deal. Okay. That's interesting. What are we doing here, Lucifer? I've asked you here because those same wings have been stolen. And I need your help to get them back. Lucy, since your grand departure from hell, I've been the one that's had to patrol the gates. I've been the one keeping damn souls from slipping loose. Things mm. out there in the human world? Lucy, they're too powerful. A piece of divinity, humanity. Okay, I did was wondering last episode if it still done, have yeah, their grace to sort so of toss speak himself in the way building after a mere yeah, peek at them. So if you're done telling me things I already know. Will you help me or not? If you truly hated the wings, why'd you hold on to them all this time? He wanted an oath. Like, you know, uh, contingency move, plan. Lucy. <laughs> Especially for someone that was trying to leave their life behind. Maybe deep down you realize you never should have cut them off. And maybe that's why you left yourself an out. Yeah. You wanted free will. You'll take it. You wanted accountability. Well, fix your own damn mess. I for knew once. he was not going to help him. <laughs> I've been thinking. Your problem, my problem, why not be each other's fresh eyes and all that, hey? What do you say? Quid pro quo? First, you have to tell me what it is you're working on. <sighs> Remember that container that was so inelegantly taken from me? The one I was convinced was hiding something? Well, it wasn't just nesting dolls that I was looking for. There was something else, something personal that was missing when we got there. I knew it. What was in there? My angel wings. <laughs> yeah, I knew she was gonna be. <laughs> okay, seriously. <laughs> Sorry, I'll admit I don't always get you, but if this is really that important, it is. Oh, Chloe. I will do what I can. I will put out an APB on wings. Angel wings. <laughs> and in return, I should donate my services on Palmetto. We could use the help. We. We. 
Oh. Okay. Ready to go? Yeah. You weren't around to help, so I recruited someone else. Oh, this is Palmetto Street. I want to figure out what I missed. How is that going to prove anything? Just humor me. Thanks. <laughs> So, in the months leading up to the shooting, we were following a French drug trafficker, Nicholas Audi. One of his guys thought he was gonna flip, and then suddenly he changed his tune. One night, I tracked him here, sneaking in through the side door, and I hid behind this glass. Is that enough? Ooh! A bribe, maybe. Yeah, you won't gain that back. I hope you know I'm that. Not I'm not sure. If you're giving that to but me. I leaned forward to hear what they were saying. And accidentally, I made a sound. Was there uh, another person the somewhere? And that's when I ran in. It doesn't make sense. Excuse me? Audi would have no desire to kill Malcolm. Trust me, if there's one thing I know, it's desire. What if someone else was here? Yep. Cops searched the place up and down, Chloe. Espinosa. Did you really put out an APB for... Wings? Angel Wings? Yeah! Like they got a hit. Excellent. You know, I don't understand. Why do they call them and then call her? I still can't believe that the Wings are... Real? Wings an absurdly fraudulent company. Yeah, unlike the Wings, there's no way those are real. Exactly. It's insulting putting my wings on the block like... He some does not understand sarcasm, does he? Well, you could take comfort knowing the auction's already set to be raided. As long as you can prove the Wings' provenance, you get it back in 30 days. No problem at all. The problem is you can't prove it. And it's gonna be in more human hands. Come on out, Amanda Deal. Oh! So, what happened to going it alone? Just a nice thing, yes. As such, or did you just want a front row seat to the action? I assure you, Lucifer, I take no pleasure in following you around. To ensure the wings get back where they belong. Which is where, exactly? No, you remember signs on your back. Oh, surely, my fine feathered friend, you don't expect that to happen. They belong in the heavens where they were created. If you don't want them, that's where they'll be. Fair enough. enough. <laughs> Hello. For everybody. Honey, not vinegar. Um, it's an auction for God. It's funny. Um, holy that, stuff. Perhaps well, now we do know. have something that might religious be Religious stuff, so give him something religious. religious. Yeah, exactly. Levi agreed to this. I thought you were helping me. I am helping. This is who's on the other end of this case. Not a monster. Not a villain, but a grieving family trying to say goodbye. What is she doing here? I'm sorry, man. No, right. What do you want from us? Why did Dan do that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Y'all Dan fans are still in my comments being whatever, but yeah, I'm not like that. Congratulations, Mr. Morningstar. I'm a man that believes in one simple divinity. The really? almighty dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? Someone stole my wings. About six feet, glow with the light of God. He knows what it is. So if you'd be so kind as to deliver them, it's then my we can leave on our way without any unpleasantries. Give me one good reason not to finish this right now. Because you misunderstood me. I'm more than happy to buy the wings. Happy bidding. Oh, wow. Well. Thank you. What I'd like to know is since when is the Prince of Darkness scared of some insufferable human gun? What do you mean? Oh, Maybe. are you really gonna tell him this? Yeah. On top of everything else, seems I'm dealing with a bit of a mortality sitch. Hence, Ixnay on the unscathed. I'm just realizing the gravity of what you're saying. All he gotta do is let someone kill you and... Even if you don't choose hell, all I have to, to do is wait for some pitiful thug to... I said you. this before. <laughs> And right back to hell. You Why go. would you tell a minute to you that? I would like to introduce you to the first item up for bid. The Lost Chains of St. Paul. Paul's wrists were too thick to fit in those chains. I know, that man never could pass on dessert, could he? He should have been the saint of... Honey uh, cakes. <laughs> Aw, look at them getting along. Uh, those no, are clearly okay. fake. No, oh, Chloe's here. How did I know you'd come here? Because I'm admirably consistent. How did you even get in here? I've got news for you, pal. You're not the only one with the little mojo. We were just getting started. We? Oh, that's right. You haven't met, have you? Allow me to introduce Amenadil, my brother. Hold up! Well, come on, don't look so Did short. she not see Amenadil um, before? I just didn't I'll add to the expect your brother to be so 
handsome. <laughs> I never expected him to, know that. to change careers as he did. Uh-uh. But I'm definitely beginning to see why. Stop. The wings of an angel. Is that his skin at the end? What's going on? Everyone stand where you are. A little help? It is fake. You got your wings. Thought you'd be happier. These aren't my wings. Whose wings are they? Someone with a warped sense of humor. I don't... They're a knockoff, a sham. I mean, it's, it's good work, I'll give them that. Probably would have fooled just about anyone, save perhaps the actual owner of the wings. My wings are still out there, I need to find them. Right. So what's our next move? Well, I'm afraid this is where I leave you, brother. We're finally done with all this. I was done. I even started believing I was crazy like everybody said. Now. There was a secret room. Chloe, you are stabbing hard at something that's just not there. There's got to be an explanation for what I saw, Dan. There has to be. What's that? Secret passageway. So there was someone else there. Hey. A key? What is it? 999 key. LAPD issued. So he's a cup. Malcolm had his on him. Wait, you know what? Me. Another cop was here. Was right. I would keep that. So I'll, I would keep that to myself. A cop knew the secret passageway existed, Dan. So we need to figure out. Mm, no, I don't trust you, Dad. I don't trust you. Me. I'm still moved by your words. I'm a man that believes in one simple divinity. <laughs> I love the voice. You don't understand. No, I understand. He saw the Perfectly. Divinity. A lifelong atheist, you took one peek at the wings and something changed in you. The great white light was revealed and a believer was born. Shame on you. It wasn't my fault. You can't take them away. Oh wow! I can't live without them. They're mine. I love that. I love the visual of that. Now, before I deal with you, I have just one burning. So who pushed you off? Why are we on the beach again? I thought you were put I it back in come. the um of course cargo box. Is that all? Did Amina Deal take them off? Wow, Amina Deal. You let humans see the wings? What the hell? <gasps> okay, I did not see him doing that. You tipped Carmen off and you orchestrated the theft. Why, Amina Deal? Because you left me no choice. It almost bloody worked. I destroyed them. I'm never going back to hell. Ooh. But. Uh... Um, I won't touch him if I were you. Damn. This is far from over. Get you back to hell. I have a feeling you're gonna fall because of your amb your ambition to get him back to hell. I'd like to say a few things about Malcolm. But I can promise not to let his life or death go in vain to a good cop. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have my theories. Trust me, we're gonna find a dirty cop. It's best they don't think we're okay. Mm -hmm. The dirty cop might just be in front of you. I cleaned up your mess on the beach. Yeah, but... So wings, he can't go back to well, hell. This is where I have to be now. So Maze is actually stuck. And I know. Stuck. Even... But nothing. Hmm? I am with you, Lucifer. From now until the end. Of course. Mm, this not going to end well. Chloe's here. What happened? Hmm? Oh, 
Sorry, this, yes. Oh! Just a little. Look, I didn't realize his face was that damaged. <laughs> and I suppose, you know, I... Sorry, what was I saying? <laughs> Look, I know how much it sucks being alone. But if we're really friends, it, it should be enough just knowing that they did. Well, in my search for the wings, I realized what they actually were. Hmm. A relic. So what changed? I don't know. Hmm? Did you find the answer you were looking for? I found something. Oh? Well. To our equally enigmatic futures. Oh, I thought she was looking at them. What does she have? Oh, she stole a feather. That was quick. <laughs> this TV. Huh? What's going on? <laughs> Why a minute? What? Um, the drama. Oh, the drama. The drama. Okay. Okay, let's dissect this episode. So. The little joke that I laugh about in the beginning was because <laughs> Tom Ellis is UK and um, when he said Euro hands, if you don't know what Brexit is, it's UK leaving the EU. So that was just, and in this time frame, uh, the time that we're in right now is funny. <laughs> That banter was just funny to me. It might not be funny to anyone else, but it was funny to me there. Um, so, Lucifer did eventually tell Chloe that his wings was missing. In typical Chloe fashion, she just thought it was a cosplay item. So he got the help from a mini deal, who turned out to i don't understand a minute deal i really don't why would he think why did he think that would be a good idea for humans to see divinity like i i get i get trying to get lucifer to go back to hell but look at the cast look at the cast like i feel like the the the, the um the damage outweighs the outweighs the um the journey of getting to because at the end of the day god will be mad so you get let's say you get lucifer back to hell but look at the damage you'll leave behind and i don't think a deal is thinking clearly anymore and i feel like that's gonna backfire on him oh this palmetto case y'all the, the dance stands that have been in my in my comment section yeah yeah y'all gonna stay mad at me because I personally believe he was this he was the that he was the shooter it's either Dan so hey how it goes it's it could be the partner but I feel like if even if it's the partner Dan knew about it Dan knew that Malcolm was dirty and that makes him just as culpable because if you know a cop is dirty and you ain't tell anyone and you keep it up to yourself, you're just as culpable. Or it was Dan that shot Malcolm, but the partner knew that Malcolm was on the take. So if Dan shot Malcolm, that means Dan is on the take. I don't care which one it is. Dan is still bad. I don't care. It, the, the first option of him just knowing Malcolm was dirty is less evil but if Dan is on the take and Malcolm knew as well and he shot Malcolm to shut him up yeah I don't want y'all Dan stands in my comments anymore mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I want y'all there mm -mm. so my dislike for Dan is just this is just it's It's just something about Dan. I don't know if it's the writing of Dan, but Dan is just... 
that's just too fishy. And I believe that if it's the two scenarios that I brought up, yeah, I am, I am correct in my stance of just not liking that. It, it, it's just, it. it's just that's what it is. It is what it is. You, you ain't got to be happy that I dislike that. I just don't because he's too shady for me. Like for this whole, like to me, it did not make sense for him to take Chloe to um, Malcolm's um, um, hospital room. I, I, I didn't see the need for that. It's like you're trying to make her feel bad for doing her job. And that makes me think you're even more guilty. So I'm, I'm leaning more for it being that Dan shot Malcolm. I'm leaning more to that than him just knowing Malcolm was dirty. Now that Malcolm is back, no, I'm in a deal, I'm in a deal. I'm, I really don't know where your headspace is. For you to bring back Malcolm, it is going to be drama. It's going to be drama. So I'm guessing he's good because I think Lucifer was really dumb to tell a mini deal that um, that he's immortal. I'm not immortal. No longer immortal. That was dumb on his part. So I feel like that's why Minnie brought Malcolm back. So he's going because he's a dirty cop. He and he knows cop um, procedures to get away with murder. He's gonna use him. <sighs> oh. It's, it's, it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. These next few episodes are going to be wild. It's absolutely going to be wild. And I really enjoyed it. So, I, I was saying in the beginning, I don't know if this was going to be the conclusion of the wings or they're going to use the wings for the final episodes of this season. Did they conclude this episode with the wings saga? So I'm feeling like Malcolm situation and Amenity is going to be the the ending. The last few episodes is going to deal with Malcolm coming back, a middle deal trying to get Lucifer back to help. Now, it's going to be even worse when he Lucifer finds about Maze. Especially with that little speech that she had at the end where she was saying, I'm always going to be here for you. Yeah. Yeah. And then she has a piece of the feather. So I don't know if that small amount is allow will allow her to get back into hell. But yeah. That's not going to end pretty. That relationship. I'm waiting for it to... That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the destruction. That one. And we see that Lucifer and Chloe had their little moments at the end. So... Hmm. It's going to be very interesting to see where how they end this season off. It's going to be very interesting. So with that being said, if you enjoyed my reaction, please remember to like, subscribe, join the family, and leave your comments in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Bye.